What's up everyone? Trent here at Precision Transmission. Welcome to the channel. We got Cody underneath the car today. Thank you, Cody. We are getting a service done on Mr. Paul's vehicle. He's all the way from Louisiana. Um, he is traveling and he made sure to come through and get his transmission serviced here by us at Precision Transmission. And we got Cody here doing a professional job of getting this pan off. Yeah. A bad boy on there or what? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Never fails. Probably never been off. You know, the fluid looks really good. Car looks really taken care of. This guy does take care of his vehicle. I mean, the up top looked brand new. Wow. Pull hard. Urgh. That's crazy. Okay, everyone. Cody wasn't playing around. So we have this mechanism right here. I did uh, pause the camera for a second and uh, tried to get it off myself. This is how we normally get it off. Nice little wobble. Because it's really hard to get in between the cross member to get your handball. So... We're gonna break the rules. We're gonna put a three eighths on a quarter and uh, yeah, here we go. Cody's got his safety glasses on. We've got two left. Hopefully they break loose and not break. Sweet. Got one more. Looks really good. Well, I can tell you it's been serviced once before. It does not have the um, forward from factory. They put a plastic yellow plug in the hole for a shelf unit. So once they put it in the vehicle, they just go and stab the tube in it. And the plug is actually in the bottom of the pan. We don't have that. So this thing has been serviced once before. We're gonna service it here again today at Precision Transmission. So y'all guys stay tuned. We're gonna get a new filter, get the pan cleaned up. We'll see y'all shortly. As promised everyone, nice, beautiful, clean pan, new gasket, new filter. Everything looking really good. Got our shift solenoids over here. These things are really cool. Your wiring harness, nice. EPC solenoid really cool stuff here guys so we're gonna go over here though and Cody's from one to the next I'm gonna finish this service because this guy's getting it over here putting a transmission in I mean he's only been here a couple months and I mean this guy he's doing really good learning a lot and uh, putting this one in all by himself yes, you got to have it done. nice doing good doing good that's what we like to see working hard good help and get this gentleman back on the road so y'all guys stay tuned just fill this thing up let y'all know how much fluid it takes on a service and go from there all right we've got our pan on it's all torqued down everything's marked up painted and we are ready to fill up the unit sorry guys if i made y'all dizzy get it down so we got our car down we haven't pumped anything in it yet we got zero in it we're gonna go ahead and pump four quarts in it start it run it through the gears uh, go ahead and pump maybe half a quart in it and then check it This is a really clean car. I think it's got over almost 200,000 on it, if not over 200,000. You can't tell. Four in it. We're gonna start the car. Okay, so we're in the car. Let me grab the keys. Start the car. Yeah. 
Let the car idle down. And put more fluid in it. We have ran it through the gears and we have pumped up to 4.7. So let's check it. All right, we got our transmission full. Got 4.7 in there. Drove it around the block. I did not get it on camera, sorry guys. But we're gonna go ahead and stick this in here so I can show y'all that it is full and ready to go. It's kinda hard to see. You see our don't, don't feel past that line. We're right on it. And that's what we want so if y'all guys like go give us a thumbs up go subscribe to the youtube channel hit that notification button see y'all in the next one